Right, I guess I haven't shown you yet, but um, I've made this three-inch um, stainless uh, intake pipe for the Focus, which is an airbox delete. Um, I've just painted the insides of it. Um, trying to get this to focus. I've smoothed out any sugaring on the inside, made it nice and smooth. But yeah, that's it so far. I'm just waiting on like, um, I'm waiting on uh, silicone bends and stuff now. Um, the next thing I have to do is um, the uh, airflow meter. I have to, I'm just gonna, I've done this before for a v, VY Commodore, the Alloy Tech. He, my mate supercharged his. Um, or he bought a supercharged one, I'll do the same thing for his. The airflow meters are similar. Um, I've got another airflow meter. This is my old one. I'm just going to unbolt it and pull it out. But um, yeah, I'm just going to trim this section out where it bolted to the airbox. And we're just going to make it look nice and smooth there. Um, so it doesn't have this big bulky section like that sort of thing. So I'm going to trim it all off and um, yeah, I'll. Uh... Right, so as you can see now, it looks a lot neater. Um, you won't really see this scuffed look because um, you have a silicone hose over that but um, yeah so I've removed all that um, to the flange I've removed that off it and so then like this will be the inlet of this pipe so this would normally bolt to the airbox this way like my hand um, and that would then and the airflow should be this way so you have a silicone hose there silicone hose there and a filter so it looks a lot nicer um yeah so that's basically it i'm just waiting for parts now to get here before i can even put it on the car and then i'm also gonna because it's gonna sit on the car sort of like this like that that's gonna make like a bracket up with a bolt to mount it and everything yeah now that's done and that's done pretty good and I've also painted the inside out like I said before um, yeah just gonna give it a blow out clean all the debris in there out all the um, dust and then it should be right but yeah no nah, that's it so far for the intake pipe and no nah, yeah the world is going good um, just had a few like test runs and stuff of it um, If it will actually focus, I don't know. Come on, there we go. It's getting pretty. It's get. It's pretty good. Um, that's just a little muck around piece, and this is galvanized. Like that, ain't even. This isn't even that good of metal to weld on. It's pretty sad. Um, when I first got it, I was just having a bit of a play on here, like just to see what it could do. Um, just mucking around, writing a few things in, but yeah, and uh, the um, the world is pretty good itself, and um, the world's pretty good. Like that isn't TIG welded because I need the right gas for TIG, and I also don't have a torch for t um, TIG either. But yeah, I've done I've done pretty good. Like I just um, I pretty much just spot welded it all the way around. Like I. I did a little bit of a, I did basically spot weld, spot weld, weld, weld. Then on the back here, I had to make a bend. So, you can't really see it on the inside either, like it's pretty joined up pretty well. Um, I basically cut it. Um, I didn't just go um, cut, weld. I sort of did like cut. Then I um, used a section like this. I'll show you. I didn't really take any photos before, but I'll show you what I mean. I used like a half cut section, like a half moon. And then I, I, weld, I, t I um, stitched that into the top, if that makes sense. I stitched that in up here. So it had more of a, like a bend sort of thing, like it was curved inside. So like it's actually not 
like a real, it's not like a um, sharp bend, for like a, you want it to flow, so you got to use like a half moon and, and have a bit of a bend in it. Um, just so you can sort of see what I mean. See so yeah, how it's like, so it's like flows well. But yeah, that's what I've done, so it flows a bit better. But yeah, nah, it's all going good so far. And um, yeah, I haven't really done too much just because of the weather's really bad at the moment. It's raining a lot. It's not very good. It's been playing Xbox pretty much. But um, yeah, um, haven't done much of the Falcon either. But I will soon. But I'm mainly um, working on the Focus because once I get that on there, and I get um, Jamie's uh, RS ECU holder, put the intake on, basically get it tuned. So I want to just get that done real quick. And then I'll do the clutch on the Falcon, but I'll do some more videos of the Falcon soon once I get my license, which won't be very long. Because yeah, it's pretty much it's New Year's Eve at the moment, so yeah. I'm just doing a few little jobs before I have to pick the missus up, and then um, yeah. Anyway guys, um, yeah, I haven't done too much, but I'll um, try and get this intake done as much as I can in the last couple, uh, last week I have off. Hopefully I get the silicone pieces in. I've got two um, three-inch just joiners, Aeroflow, and also I have um, a 45-degree, um, it's a 45, and it goes from, um, it goes from three-inch to two-and-a-half. Um, that connects it from the turbo to the um, that connects from the turbo to the intake pipe. So um, that connects from that little ninety uh, little forty five I have there. So it's a forty five, and um, it connects from the turbo to the intake pipe. And then I got the two um, I got the two um, silicone three inch connect uh, joiners. That's to go. Um, uh, it's going to go pipe joiner, airflow motor joiner filter, or it'll go, I mean, sorry, or a um, bit, bit more stainless and then a filter, but, um, but for now, sorry guys, I really choked, but for now, um, yeah, I just, I'm, I haven't got really any three inch um, bends uh, that I could use, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I got any more three inch, but yeah, no, I've got heaps of filters here, I'll just, I'll put a K and M one on it soon, but at the moment, I'm probably just going to run, um, wherever it went, it had a, it had a bloody, um, what was it, just a drift brand one or whatever, I'll show you right now. So I'll just run this filter for now, um, this was the filter off the laser, but yeah, I'll run this one for now, because it's actually a quality filter, um, I'll just have to clean it, but yeah, I've got a few more over here, I've actually got this one, I've got this one which we never really used, it's just a cheapy. That's actually like about a hundred bucks. Um, I've got this pod filter here, which I don't even think it's, oh, it might be three inch, yeah, it's three inch, got that one. Um, I've also got one more down. I've got one more down in there. If you can see that. But yeah, I won't use them. Um, I'll probably use this one for now. Easier to fit. Um, you just have to clean it more because it's a lot smaller. But I'll blow it out and clean it and stuff. And we'll use that for now. But yeah, I won't use that. That's pretty sad. It's, it's just going to go on my little rally car. For, just because I could clean it easily. But I won't worry about that. I'll just probably use this one right here. So it'll pretty much look like that. But I'll have the airflow meter in the middle. But yeah, that's pretty much it there. So, um, yeah, hopefully the stuff gets here Monday, Tuesday, or probably Tuesday, Wednesday, hopefully, because it's um, going to be New Year's, um, it'll be um, public holiday Monday, so, yeah, anyway, um, I'll probably end it there, and I'll continue the recording uh, update when I, when I get the other bits. Anyway, guys, cheers, thanks for watching, and um, just subscribe, and... Yeah, keep watching these videos, and yeah, we'll keep making more. Right, I ran out of the focus. Um, because 
I fixed the exhaust and drilled new holes and stuff and um, on the dump. Now I have like a really bad rattle. It, I had this when I first fitted the exhaust to the car. Um, it's pretty much like, I'll just demonstrate it. It's like a, what happens is the exhaust sits very close to the, um, to the cross, uh, like there's like a cost, like a subframe, like all like, it's sort of like a cab chassis brace sort of thing that holds the two, it's just like a structural brace. Um, and the exhaust travels um, underneath, oh uh, sorry, above. And what happens now is that the, um, now I've drilled a hole and everything and re-drilled that stud out and put a new bolt and I had to put a big one. It's sort of pulled the exhaust on a different angle. So what's happened now is that um, when I accelerate and take off in first gear, it sounds like the exhaust part rattling and hitting the, um, sorry guys, I'm just trying to focus, and hitting the um, that little cross member piece. But yeah, no, I'm just gonna jack her up now. And I'm just about to, I'm gonna remove it. I'll jack it up. Righto. I'll just bring it this way a bit more. That's it. So what I was gonna say is, I'm jack it up, um, remove that cross member piece out, and I'm just gonna, Oh, there's a big ass wasp above me, I'm gonna close the window real quick. Um, so yeah, jack it up, um, pull that um, pe uh, cr sub, uh, the brace out, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put some washers underneath it just to space it a little bit, because um, just because I don't wanna have, because literally after I put this intake pipe on, then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna have to cut the cat out and decat it, so I'm just going to cut the cat out, weld a new bit of three inch stainless in there and leave it at that because I don't want to like smash the cat out because it's a good cat that's in there. It's a high flow one. So I do just want to um, remove it. So I'm just going to jack her up and then um, I'll show you what I mean. Righto. So we're under the focus now. This is the support I'm talking about. It pretty much just like protects the fuel lines, um, etc. But yeah, I also got to take that cat out once I get the tune. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say was, um, this bolt, it's this bolt and there's another two on the other side. What's happening is, it's probably really hard to see, but just above there, it's actually contacting. Like, I, if I get under here, I literally cannot put my finger in between there. So under acceleration, that hits on this and puts a vibration and a real loud noise all the way through the car. Um, so I'm just going to unbolt these two, drop it down and put some um, put some washers underneath them um, just for that reason because this mount here touches. So I'll just grab some washers and we'll pack it and we'll see what happens. Righto, so I'm just going to grab this, I think it's a 13, just undo them. Just undo these two. enough to drop it all the way down sorry about my cameras guys the lens is smashed and takes a little bit longer to focus now so that's where I move these so they're the original bolts so I've got these washers right here um, I know they're bigger than what we need but it's just so it has good surface area on the underneath here so I was going to go with probably three, it's probably like nearly eight mil, could be, but yeah I'll just pop three under, because we also don't want to drop this too low, because we already have a little bit of a scrapage issue going over the speed bumps as it is, I don't want to drop it too low, but I want to give it enough to actually be able to do, uh, to not rattle anymore. So um... I'll just drop that down, I'll just put one in, I'll just see how it looks. So 
so I bought it last. That's pretty good. So I'll just go pop the other one in and then I'll get back to you. So that seam tool has dropped it a fair bit now. Um, just on this side, as you can see, it's still, it's going to have a lot of like um, contact. So if I was run a small one, you wouldn't have much contact. So it's still nice and sturdy. So I'm just going to jump on the other side and do the same thing and we'll check our clearance. If it's still got a fairly big clearance, I'll just take another washer out and we'll just run two. But I'll go to the other side and I'll undo them. All right, so, same thing over here. Got two. Get me a stack of three washers. up here other stack now just align them with the just bolt in bolts in so now I have a lot better clearance in between there so it hasn't really Look, it hasn't really affected it too much. I'll have to try it over the speed bumps. But still, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's just space it down. I'll, I'll take it for a drive and I'll see what happens. But yeah, I think the main cause is my engine mount is just not... Like, the engine mount is just not good enough. Like, I think it's been replaced before, this torque mount. But it's a common problem where these just get heaps of movement in them. And you pretty much just, um... Uh, you pretty much just, like get heaps of thuds and everything. This one the thuds real bad when you hit the gears real hard. But yeah, I'll take it for a quick drive and we'll see what happens. Right, so we got pretty good engine temp and we got pretty good um, oil temp, so I'm just gonna give it a quick pull. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's not shutter, it's not um, bumping no more, I mean like uh, rattling anymore. 